Hi all, so I've not done a video for a while, um, some updates for you. I got the results of my uh, lumpectomy, the lump out of my breast and the lymph nodes being taken out uh, about six days ago now. Um, the good news is that the uh, five centimetre lump is out and um, the margins are clear, so that's that's great news. The not so good news is that out of the lymph nodes in my armpit, uh, 20 out of 23 are cancerous. Um, so the next phase is a CT scan to see if the cancer has gone anywhere else in my body or whether it's just stayed in to my lymph nodes. Um, and until we have the CT scan, we can't start the treatment plan. So uh, we know that there's going to be chemo and radiotherapy, um, but we just don't know when it's going to start. So I got the letter from the hospital to say CT scan is in uh, two days on Friday. And then another letter to say that the results will then be through in two weeks time, which is, I think, one of the most frustrating things just because two weeks to get results of whether you've got cancer across your whole body or just under your armpit is is like years in in my lifetime at the minute so that's frustrating um i just feel like yelling saying come on look at the screen and tell me for goodness sake and then start the treatment to to sort out this uh this little c that i keep saying not big c so um a little bit frustrating but on a positive side um me and my chairman have now towed all the board directors so they're aware and all our staff at work and just had some absolutely amazing lovely responses incredibly supportive um and went back to work today in the office i've been working throughout but decided to work from home just while my breast recovered i had an infection so I've been on antibiotics um and my arm has been incredibly uh painful so i stayed at home um, just to recover basically and, and sort my mind out so I was strong enough to go into the office and, and, and lead the team um, but also show a bit of vulnerability around um, it, it still hurts um, and they need to keep making me coffee every hour basically to keep me awake because I'm quite tired but I'm enjoying working the team have been super it's keeping me positive it's keeping my mind occupied so I'm going to continue doing that and I have the joy of staying in this hotel that I've paid for and decided to go for a nice hotel um just outside the station at St Pancras so I'm tucked up um on the waiting game but you know what uh life carries on so we will go back to work tomorrow and uh continue enjoying uh what we do and the team that we have at the Alliance so I'll keep you posted um no pictures today of booby because it's actually actually there is a big thing it's huge so my my boob here that's had the five centimeter out is bigger than this one because it's swollen um, and it's still swollen. So I am gonna see the uh, breast cancer nurse just because I think I need a bit of a checkup on that. But um, yeah, it's absolutely huge, um, which is a delight when I'm not wearing a bra because it's also irritating the scar. So um, you can imagine what that looks like walking around at work to um, a number of giggles and also not wearing deodorant, which is also quite an interesting uh, scenario in the heat in London at this moment in time. But there you go, little things amuse little people. So, um, keep you posted and uh, let's hope fingers crossed that it stayed in the armpit and we can sort it out pretty quickly if it's not then we'll sort out the rest of it take care bye